Good morning. It's Sunday morning. It's my Sunday morning video. My son's room is right there. So I'm going to try to be quiet. I'll try to I'll boost the volume when I'm editing this thing, which I might not edit it. I just might put it up if it's okay. So I have a couple of ideas that since he could um, take into consideration. Um, I'm not, I've been with the company for a long time and I've, I have submitted things to the idea share. If you're a Sensi consultant, I think even if you're not a Sensi consultant, I'm not sure. There's a specific website that you can go to that has all the things that have been shared to Sensi. And if you see something there that jazzes you, you can vote on it. And then if you don't see what you like, you can, up, you can put in your own suggestion. And things that I have seen there and or put in uh, had to do with pet products, which they came out with. Unfortunately, they didn't come out with litter box stuff. That's okay. I appreciated it. And it ran its course, unfortunately. They, they've discontinued it. And I also put in the idea that um, they have a tuition program for children of directors and above. I think that the tuition, pro not tuition, well, uh, it's, um, what they call a grant, right? Like a scholarship thing. But they don't offer that to Sensi consultants, which I think is kind of, I, I, that surprised me because when I was applying to school, I had been a Sensi consultant for eight years at that point. And I'm like, really? You don't have anything? You don't want me to advance in life? <laughs> it's only for my kid. And by the way, it's only for kids who have like a certain amount of community service hours and are on the Dean's list and all that kind of stuff. I think that they could have gone a little bit further with that idea for scholarship money, uh, grant money, that kind of thing for the furthering of education for people who work with Sensi and for their children. I think that that could be looked at again. Um, and I still also, even though I don't have cats at the moment, I still am a cat person at heart. I am half cat. And I do believe that um, the whole litter box thing Sensi needs to get in on that because that's the main problem with having a cat. Scratching, which Sensi can't help with that, and smell. So, okay, so the first was litter. The second was the scholarship thing. Now the third, I know that some people have suggested this before and I'm not really sure why Sensi doesn't do it. I think it's just because they can't uh, bring the idea to completion, is to bring fragrance oils for the diffusers into rotation that are at least a handful of our traditional Scentsy fragrances. I would love to be able to diffuse Luna in my expensive ass Scentsy diffusers. Why wouldn't they be able to make that in Luna or Blue Grotto or Sunkissed Citrus or um, Coconut Lemongrass? Maybe just five at a time. Maybe five per season. That's my neighbor, my other neighbor's over there. Um, five per season, or two, or one a month, or um, something like that. What if the scent of the month also was available in oil? I don't understand why that can't happen, that they can't formulate the oils that you use in your diffuser with the same fragrance notes as the wax. I would like to know why. Um, I'm sure that there's a reason because Sensi tries to capitalize on everything and that's fine, they're a company, hello. They have to stay in business and they have to make money. Um, I'm wondering why that, that can't happen. I would love to see Luna in oil that I can put into my diffuser. I would love that. I love Luna. Um, Squeeze the day. I mean, come on. <laughs> like, I know that I know it would sell. I just, I just, in my heart, I know it would sell. Um, I got turned on to that concept back, I think it was 2020, when uh, in the spring summer collection we had something called All You Need Is Love. 
and it was coconut, cherry, and vanilla. And at the same time, at this, in, in the same campaign, they released an oil uh, called coconut sugar, and it had coconut, cherry, and vanilla, and it smelled exactly the same. And I remember going, oh, I wonder if this is the beginning of something. This might be the beginning of something. Maybe they're going to do a campaign. Maybe, it, maybe they're just dipping their toes in the waters. Unfortunately, can't get either one of those anymore, I don't think. I know that All You Need Is Love is not available anymore. And it might be because they just did it with the wrong fragrance. They might just, they might have tested that market with the wrong scent because not everybody likes coconut, not everybody likes cherry, and not everybody, everybody kind of likes vanilla, but whatever. Um, so that's my third idea. My fourth idea is a little bit more on the leadership end of Sensi. Um, and if you don't really have a team, this still sort of applies to you. The way Sensi used to be is it used to be you used to have to get 100 PRV in a three month period during a one month period, right? So say January, February, March. In either January, February, or March, you had to get 150 PRV, not 50 in each month, right? And then you can remain a consultant. If you went three months, without 150 PRV, PRV is basically sales, right? Dollar for dollar almost, except with the, some of the stuff. Anyway, um, if you didn't get 150 PRV in a three month period, in one month, they canceled you. And that has a very negative connotation to it. I don't, I don't like that concept because it's free to rejoin Sensi. Um, anybody is welcome to rejoin Sensi, and then also people can go from consultant to consumer, which I have people do do that all the time. I did it twice, right? Um, I would love to see it go back to 150, but I would love for it to go back to three months because it's not three months anymore. Now it's one year. Do you know how many consultants I have on my team that are just sitting doing nothing? They're not even buying for themselves. There is a phenomenon that happens when people are amazing Sensi customers and they, they buy a lot for themselves and they love the product and they're talking about the product and they want to share the product. And then they say, fuck it, I'm going to buy a kit. I'm going to do the thing. And then they do nothing. They, they stop buying for themselves. Why is that? I probably have a hundred of those people in my down. I'm not trying to show off. It's, it's a phenomenon. I don't understand it. Because when I was a Sensi consultant and then I went inactive, I was, I was buying in between. I was going to Sensi.com and putting in my zip code and just buying from randos because I didn't know any Sensi consultants. What's going on with my hair? <laughs> um, by the way, never got a follow-up email, never got a thank you, nothing from those people, which is amazing. I don't have anybody make a purchase on my website and I'll be like, hey, thanks, at least send an email or something, you know? I think that it should go back to three months. Here's the other thing, is that it's funny. I've had people who bought the kit and then went one month, oh, sorry, one year with inactivity, and didn't do anything, didn't buy for themselves or at least didn't hit that 200 PRV mark, right? And then all of a sudden it gets to the end and they get that email that says, by the way, you're gonna be canceling at the end of the month if you don't get 200 PRV. And then they scramble. Then they're scrambling to try to get the sales. Why? They had it in their back pocket for the whole year that they were a sense of consultant and they could do this thing. And then once that opportunity goes away, they start scrambling and they get crazy. And then it's really goddamn difficult to get 200 PRV in like, let's say six days. They get the email at the seventh day mark that they're gonna be you know, canceled in seven days and then they have six days to get 200 PRV. And that for some people, that's impossible. And that's not the way you're supposed to be a Sensi consultant. You either buy for yourself or you help others buy. But you don't just sit there and then try to hit it so that you can call yourself a Sensi consultant. That's not what it's about. I'm not knocking people who buy Sensi for themselves from their own website. Hi, I, there's room in this company for everybody. But when people just sit there and do nothing, I'm, I just don't understand it. Whole, I, I, I did like when they 
you took the downline away when you are inactive for three months. I, I like that because that was money that was just sitting on the table and being wasted. I had people who, let's say, were my front line. So they were direct, they joined Sensi under me, okay? And then they have people that joined Sensi under them, but they're not doing anything. And they're just sitting there because they have one full year to still call themselves a Sensi consultant, but yet those people that joined Sensi underneath them, nobody's profiting off of that. Sensi was right about changing that and pushing the downline up to the next front line. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna harp on this conversation any much longer. So the last thing that I would like to suggest to Sensi is um, along the lines of what they did earlier this year where they put washer whiffs into a bring back my bar type of voting thing. I loved that idea. When they did it with the buddies, I was like, eh, that's okay, whatever. I, I'm not a buddy person. I, I, I have kids, but they're not little, okay? Um, and I said, oh, maybe they're gonna do that with other products, and of course they did with washer whiffs, and I love that because people who like Sensi products, they love the washer whiffs. That's like the most important thing. If it was up to me and I could only buy one laundry product, it would be washer whiffs because it's the most effective. So I love that they did that. I hope Ocean comes back. I don't remember if it was, I don't remember. I think they announced the winners, but I don't remember. Anyway, but I would like there to be a bring back my bar type voting process to bring back my collection. So on the voting block would be like the Hugo collection, the Cozy collection, the Crystal collection, um, uh, the No Limits collection. Do you remember the No Limits? That's the one with the hashtags. Loved that one. Dream Big. Holy shit. Dream Big was like my favorite brand. I had it in my Sensi Club for a little while and then I took it out because I'm an idiot. The All Is Well collection. The Indigo collection. That's from 2015. I was just a cu customer and they had, it, it, it came in a beautiful purple, uh, it wasn't a purple box, but it was in a box and they were all shades of blurple like this. This is my phone case that I have to take off in order for it to fit into my new handy dandy tripod, which isn't handy dandy. It came in a beautiful box and it was five, I think, variations of indigo and they were all like grapey, purpley, amethysty. Speaking of amethyst, the crystal collection, oh my god. Amethyst in the crystal collection, rose quartz in the crystal collection, oh my god. The blue one, what was the blue one? You guys are screaming it. I don't remember, but citrine was in there and then the green calcite, I think it was called. Oh my god, I loved the crystal collection so much. Um, the Jelly Belly collection, it came with jelly beans. Oh, the, even the Aladdin collection. There's been so many, I loved the Aladdin collection. And even the Let's Dance bricks, they could bring it back in a collection, you know, in just bars. But that, that, bring, that opens up a whole new area of what this voting could be. It could be even the bar collections, just even this recent one where there's five of them. A lot of times they do these things on five. In the spring of 2017, they came out with sea salt and avocado for the very first time. Pineapple vanilla orchid, I think. Anyway, there was like five and they were so good. They were so good. And then at the holiday time, we have those five brick collections. They could narrow it down to bar and then it could be on the, on the block, on the voting block. I like my ideas. I wouldn't have them if I didn't like them. So anyway, there's my five ideas. Litter for cats. Scholarships for consultants, not just kids, and make it a little bit more lenient, please. Uh, fragrance oils in traditional Scentsy fragrance, fragrances. <laughs> a three month policy about canceling as a Scentsy consultant and voting on five bar collections. Do you remember the Hugo collection? I didn't like that one so much. The Cozy collection was nice because I had Cozy, Cozy Cashmere was in there. Mm. Anyway, I hope everybody has, and then I think there was one that was called, oh, Simple. When I first joined Sensi, 2014, in my testers were like 
five or six testers that were called simply something. There was simply lemon, simply orange, simply basil, simply patchouli. Come up with a, 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 a collection. Maybe this is my sixth idea. Come up with a five bar collection of single note waxes that people could then change. Now, I know that they tried to do that with the, uh, the Life's a Garden thing. Remember the Life's a Garden thing? It came with the, the warmer if you wanted it, whatever. It came in the little bag. Um, and they kind of did that with the, the Epcot. It didn't quite work for me. It did not quite work. And then they did it with the Rainbow Collection. They said you can you know, mix and match those. But no, I would love to see um, just lemon, just grapefruit, just basil just patchouli, just rose, and just simply rose obviously was in there. Yeah. Okay. So that's my sixth or seventh idea. Anyway, this video is going on too long. I'll talk to you guys later. Happy Sunday morning. The lighting is completely different than it was last Sunday. And um, I'm in the same exact spot. I don't know what, what the difference is. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.